In today's video, we're pitting the new Valiant Smasher set in pre-release against the most insane Yu-Gi-Oh set of the year. Or of all time. What's up guys, we are back. We have a very special versus battle. We do these a lot of time where we take the most recent set and put it against the previous set. And a lot of times it's not that interesting, but today I'm actually really interested to see what will happen in this battle because Valiant Smashers is in pre-release. So the prices, as you know, it's before Friday. Not everyone, it, most people are pre-release locked. They can't actually list until Friday when you can put your cards that you have for sale, unless you're actually like an official Konami store or something like that. So their prices are going to be way higher on most cards. So that usually gives a massive massive advantage toward this set compared to the most recent set, but it is facing up against one of the craziest sets ever and probably the best set of the year, Rarity Collection 25th Anniversary. So I'm really interested to see what will win this battle? We're going to have totals on the screen. We're going to see if potentially a set that is not in pre-release can beat a set in pre-release, which would be pretty insane. But before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away every card we pull in this video. QCRs, ultimate rares, you know, whatever it's going to be. Collector rares. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below what you think will win. Will it be pre-release Valiant Smashers or will it be Rarity Collection? I think this is actually going to be a close battle. Okay, let's get these open for this battle. 48 packs will be open today. I'm super pumped. This should be fun, actually. But not only mostly because i get to open rarity collection again let's, let's be honest okay let's get this thing open another box that does not open by the way my rarity collection i think has expired in terms of my discount code we do still have valiant smashers though if you want to grab that and don't forget tomorrow you're seeing this on thursday tomorrow at 5 p.m central it's going to be amazing we are opening some insane boxes on whatnot legend blue eyes first edition all the way through ancient sanctuary first edition the first box in Yu-Gi-Oh, all the way through the 11th set in Yu-Gi-Oh. all of them will be open and they are available to buy right now six of the sets are available on buy it now and you can pre-bid on the other five go check out my whatnot link you get 15 dollars credit if you use that link and you've never been on whatnot before also don't forget to check out those packs if you do want to grab some early you can do it now you can also bid on them live tomorrow night it's going to be an absolutely insane insane stream i can't wait for it i'm super excited so i want to see you guys there i want to make sure you guys hear about it if you haven't already make sure to check that out it's going to be absolutely awesome okay let's go let's do this let's start off with valiant smashers we have a 24 v 24 opening right here but uh this is you're probably going to get three ultras maybe a collector rare, maybe qcr here you get a lot a lot more but the question is the price prices how will the prices change or uh vary and not vary the i guess vary but the prices compare how about that compare that's what we're doing here compare and contrast all right let's see rarity collection i mean obviously i think i know which set we like better for the most part but if you disagree and you like a different set let me know we have a magician salvation okay that's not a crazy card pot of prosperity that's a good card. We'll take that. Magnite Crusadia Avermax and a Deco Talker Heat Soul. So Pot of Prosperity, I think has officially put Rarity Collection in the lead. So already off to a good start. The thing with Valiant Smashers is though, when they get their ultras, they may be crazy. And if they do pull a collector rare, that's going to be pretty big value or at least uh, pre-release value. We'll see how it turns out on Friday, aka tomorrow. But uh, yeah, Ash Blossom, already a good card. Very nice. We have a Artifact Lancia Ghost Bell. So no high rarities yet, but both a Pot of Prosperity and an Ash Blossom in the bulkier stuff, which is pretty amazing. Uh, Center Iron Phalanx. Okay, more more stuff. A lot of good cards so far out of Rarity Collection. Not so much Valiant Smashers yet. We have Fallen of Albaz. Oh, and a Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Okay. Okay. Nibiru already pulled insane. We are pulling crazy right now. Valiant Smashers is going to need something to win this. I, f I have a bad feeling for them. Okay. We got a Celta. Val Valmonica Skelta. Okay. Ultra rare. That's who knows? I don't know if that's going to be worth like it, it could be like 30 bucks for all I know in pre-release. So that's going to be the big one for them. Let's see if that took them ahead of Rarity Collection. I just went two in a row here, so we're going to go two straight. Rarity Collection as well. Okay, Rarity Collection. We have a Compulse. We have a Pot of Desires. That's not a bad card either. Rhoda Ash Blossom. Okay, that's a pretty good pack. I mean, for not really having anything, it had a lot. So, yeah, pretty good. We got to go two in a row here. I think Rarity Collection, it feels like they're ahead, but you never know with pre-release prices if they actually are. We have no ultis or collector rares yet. Very interesting. Let's see what else we can do. Draco, we have Almonica Chosen Melody. Terraforming. We are, there are some good cards in here like Terraforming. That's a pretty solid uh, generic card for field spells. Okay, okay. It just feels so lopsided, but I, I'm wondering if the score is actually lopsided. Tri Brigade Revolt. There we go. Triple Tack and Wing Dragon of Raw. Isn't this... A 
The Winged Dragon of Rock Collector Rare. It took us boxes and boxes to pull it. Like, literally. How many boxes was that? It was the last Collector Rare we got. And we pull it already. Pretty insane. But the good side is, that's a really good pack. Rarity Collection with Triple Tactics Ultimate Rare is a really good one. We have a super there. I mean, just this just does not feel fair at all. If this wasn't pre-release, oh my goodness, this would be a beatdown. Okay, let's just keep going. Rarity, just keep uh, dominating. Okay, the Platinum Rare, cool. I was like, something's wrong with the name. Oh wait, that's, that's Platinum Rare. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not insulting you, Sean, okay? Nothing to do with you, Sean. I, I'm not insulting you at all. We have uh, Center Iron. All right, all right. Let's just keep. Uh, oh wait, that's two in a row. Oh well, we'll figure it out. We'll get we'll get it together. We have Angelo, Valmonica, more Ghost Bell and Spooky Dog. Let's go, Sister. Sorry, Sister Ghost, not the Ghost Bell. So we are. Man, you guys know the score, but I mean, just on pure feel, if prices didn't exist, I mean, well, I mean, then I'm, maybe they would feel different then, I guess. But if prices didn't exist, I feel like we would be like Rarity Collection is dominating this opening. You know, back in the day, we'd be like, wow, this is such a good box. Pot of Prosperity and a Digital Barrier. Oh, my goodness. And then a Pot of Desires for good measure. Wow, this is going to be a nice giveaway. OK, guys. This is a box right here. We have a super and not so much a box for Valiant Smashers at the moment. This versus, I mean, Rarity Collection's got some of the best cards already for them. Forbidden Droplet. I mean, why not? Might as well. Might as well. We have Advanced Draw. We have a Valmonica. This is, it feels like a beatdown. I don't know for sure. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Go back to Rarity Collection. Don't double in a row. Rarity Collection just doing its thing. We have, oh. Oh, this box is insane! Not, oh my goodness, Nightmare Unicorn. Forbidden Droplet Quarter Century. Wow, this is... This cannot be close. There is no way. This is such a good box. Okay, oh wow. This is Valiant Smashers. This getting absolutely valiantly smashed, I should say. Woo! Lone Fire. Ash, Secret Rare. Even the bad packs are amazing, so... Sheesh. Not good. Not good. If you're a Valiant Smasher Stan, uh, your team is getting waxed right now. Am I even right now? I feel like I'm behind one on the Valiant Smasher somehow. I'm going to do that. Can't really tell, but I'm just guessing. We have a Memento Mace. One Ultra so far, so you can really see the difference. Like, it feels better, like, with Rarity Collection. I know a lot of people, are, not a lot. I did see a few comments that are like, yeah, but it's, like, not exciting when you pull something because there's so many of them, which I see their point, but it's still exciting, in my opinion. I just, it's fun. It's just so much fun. Because, like, the, while the rarities are common, like, getting some of the rarities are common, getting, like, a good, like, a good one in a high rarity is not necessarily common. So there is still some some hunt to it. It's not like you're getting a good card every, well, you are getting a good card every time, mostly, but you're not getting a high rarity good card every time. Yeah, a rarity collection is growing and growing on me every time. It's just so much fun. I think it's going to age really well. Okay, we got something. Wait, 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 let's not ruin it. Okay, it is a, a spell card. Let's see what it is. No Collector Rare, no QCR. Emblem, Emblema Oath. Okay, Emblema Oath. All right, sure. That's that's a card. Okay, uh, I don't know if it's good. I really don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm looking for high rarities in the Valiant Smashers, and it's very unlikely. Triple Tack, another one, Cyber Angel Mint, and Bore Load. Okay, nothing too crazy there. This is, this is insane. Absolutely insane. Advanced draw. Okay, more supers. Rarity collection is just, it's its a set, guys. It is a set of all time. No, Valiant Smashers is a set of all time, let's be honest. Wing Dragon Raw Platinum. Bet on the floor. Is that our first Baron, like in general? I think it is. That's interesting. Not a lot of Baron today. Whew, what? What a battle. Stand up, Cinture Iron. We still have potentially one more. We should have one more Ultra. Potentially collect rare QCR. I haven't pulled any out of that case yet that I've been opening. Uh, Vision Hero Ferris Secrets. So at some point, I mean, I'm, I've, at this, you got to be pulling one soon, right? I don't know. I don't even know the ratio of QCRs in the set, to be honest. So, oh, we got something. We got Cinture Iron Primera. Okay, pretty cool looking card. Another Ultra. So we have three Ultras out of there now. So now we're just hoping for high rarity, which is what they need probably to win this. I don't think three Ultras is going to be good enough. Alpha, evenly collector rare. Why, why not just get every good card? Why not? Every good card. Why not? <laughs> In some high rarity. I said you're not going to get them every time, but we are right now. We're getting everything. Century Iron. Man, this is insane. This rarity box is... I didn't open a lot of boxes because we opened so many packs ahead of time and then opened them. But this... Baron. It just keeps getting better. This feels like one of the best possible boxes you can get. I mean, we didn't get Ash, but we did get Droplet QCR. So it's really hard to beat. I'm almost speechless with how good this Rarity Collect. It really was showing out. It's like, you're about to have to show up Valiant Smashers and Rarity Collector was like, yeah, let's do it. 
Let's show him who's boss. Oh my goodness. Rarity. Uh-oh. Okay, we finally got a card that's not great. I'm sorry, Distant Coder, but yeah, not, not a generically nice card, you know, just for Code Talkers, but I say that. I, I'm assuming it's not generic. Sometimes there are cards with, you know, archetype names that are generic, but I'm pretty sure that's not one of them. I could read it, but you know, come on, reading? It's not gonna happen. But if that was like a Ash, this would be the best box of all time. Lightning Storm, that's good. Cyber Angel Benson, okay, that's, that's all right. So we are slowing down finally on the amazing pulls because, wow, we were going a little crazy there for a second. We have a Memento. We have Draco. Valmonica followed Rhythm. Pretty cool as well. Summoner Monk. Terraforming. Okay, we're down to, what are we down to? Oh, wow, I have two more Rarity Collection. Oh, wow, Rarity Collection is two packs behind. So there's still a lot more to go on there. Tour Guide, Lone Fire, Nightmare Unicorn. That's a pretty nice collector rare. And Kotaker Inverted again. More nice cards. Why not? Why not? Let's just open another. Rarity Collection is... Absolutely amazing. It is gonna be considered one of the better sets of all time. Pot of Extrav, Public Judgment, Lone Fire. More good stuff, why not, why not? Four packs left in this video. Valiant Smashers, I'm gonna open this one then save the, we're gonna go two Rarity Collections, save the last one for a potential comeback because you're gonna need it. Synchro Transmission, Gravity Collapse, Valmonica. Okay, it's all coming down to the last pack because there is no way the pre-release is that high. This has to be winning. Because I didn't see when I looked at the price guide anything like crazy high. It was like 40 bucks for the Ultra. So even if you got three of those, that's like your only chance. You'd have to get three of the best ones, which we got three different ones, so it can't be. Dark Law, we got another Platinum, Magnite Crusadia Avermax, Eldritch, Nightmare Unicorn, Standard Art. So two of the Standard Arts in there. Okay. One pack left of each, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Uh, tomorrow, we will be opening a case of Valiant Smashers, hopefully actually getting a QCR or Collector Rare. We technically have a chance left, but only one pack. Uh, Archlord Chrissia potential. Hopefully, that'll happen. Don't forget to check out the Whatnot link down below. You guys get $15 free credit. And don't forget the stream tomorrow night at 5 p.m. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait for it. Legend of Blue Eyes First Dead's being opened up. Metal Raiders First Dead's being opened up. You know, Magic Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Legacy of Darkness, Veronic Guardian, Dark Crisis, Magician's Force, Invasion of Chaos, and a finally Ancient Sanctuary. All one all month live, not video. It's live. You could be there live, so be there. Rarity Collection. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Last Rarity Collection pack. Summon Limit. Elder Entity Entis. Compulse. Okay, we ended with a dud. That gives you a chance. If you can get QCR, I think QCR Christie has like 300 pre-release, so that could win it for you. Let's do two from the back. All right, last pack magic. Here we go. Stained glass. We're going to find out very soon in two cards if we have a foil or not. The next card, if it's nothing here, it could be something big. Let's see. Okay, just a super. So <laughs> another very exciting Valiant Smashers box, but fortunately for you guys, the giveaway does include the Rarity Collection as well, which was amazing. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barty, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.